Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is your home base nomad and for today's video I'm going to share with you some steps on how to create a YouTube end screen using Canva. First, open your web browser and go to canva.com. If you have an account, just go ahead and sign in. In case not, you can simply sign up for free. As you get in, click the templates tab and search YouTube outros. If you notice, there are lots of ready-made templates to select from. Like this one. You can either use it directly or feel free to customize. For my case, I'll use my picture as a background by clicking the uploads and upload media. Earlier, I have prepared some photos for a smoother process. Here's my picture. Right click and replace the background. Now that's if I want to maximize a ready made template. Let's also try to create a YouTube outro by clicking this one. Since we're not sure of the sizes for the rectangles and circle, I took a screenshot on one of my videos and will use it as a background just to mimic the sizes. Then go to elements and type circle GIF. As you can see, we have lots of options. I'll pick this one. And add another plain circle to mimic the shape and size. Now let's set their position by putting the plain circle inside and the round GIF on the outer part. Next, let's search for a rectangle shape, still under the elements. I'll pick this and adjust the size to mimic the shape from the background. You can also change the color by clicking this. Since there are two rectangles, I'll copy this one by holding down the Alt button, then drag. If you want to know the dimensions, I have here a preferred dimension. This one's for a 1920 by 1080 video. The rectangle shape is set to 660 by 385, while the round shape is at 300 by 300. Now let's replace the background. Go to my favorite go to area, the elements, and let's search for any background. For me, I'll try using a gradient background, then right click to select and set image as a background. Next, let's add some text by clicking the text button. We have here a variety of text templates to choose from.
Let me go ahead and type in some text. If you want to copy some texts, you may just hold the Alt button, then drag. We can also add some effects to our texts by clicking the Effects button on the top. Make sure your selected text is highlighted. Now let's go to the Elements tab to add some social media logos. Of course, I'll add my personal URL to further advertise my channel. Let's continue to customize the colors. Earlier, I uploaded the color branding image from Google, and as you can see, it automatically detected the color options after I pasted it. This works for me to save time without having to experiment with colors and combination. But if you like, you can always customize according to your preference. We can also click the Styles button to play around some color combination and designs. We can play around all the possible color patterns until we find the best for us. I think I will settle for this one. Let's see. Now that we're done with the background for the outro, let's select the audio. Let's replay and finalize.
Now that it's all set, let me include my picture by selecting from my uploaded media. Since my picture has a background, I'll adjust the effects, then remove background. You know what? This is my favorite feature in Canva. This just makes my life easier. Let me add some more elements to further the design. Now that we're all set, we can download by clicking this button and select MP4 video. It will show its download progress here. And there, we now have a YouTube outro. So that's it! I hope I was able to share with you an idea on how to create your YouTube outro using Canva. Thank you guys for watching! Thumbs if you like it, sub if you love it. Peace!